Hi guys and welcome to another Divi e-commerce store website build. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In this series of videos we're going to be building an online store with the Divi theme by Elegant Themes. If you don't have it you can download it from a link below. It is a premium theme so you do have to pay for it. You can get it from my affiliate link down there or just go to ele elegantthemes.com and get it that way. But if you're building sites, it's got so many features, it's just absolutely awesome. So let's continue. Uh, yesterday we added a few products just to show how to add a simple product. What I'm going to do today is I've got another site that's not built with the Divi. It's an e-commerce store. And I want to import some products. I want to export the products from this site and import them into my Divi theme site. So if you've got an existing site that you might want to update to Divi, you can do this. It's just going to save me a lot of time adding products. So I'm going to go over to uh, get this little free plugin. It's called Product Import Export for WooCommerce. It'll only let you allow, allow you to uh, export and import simple products unless you get the premium version but that's okay because i'm going to do um, variable products in a, a different video so we won't be uploading those so i've hit the download button it's downloaded here now let's go back to our dv theme here's our plugins page on the dashboard i want to add new I'm going to upload a plugin. I'm going to drag this plugin right beside that button there, just like we did with the other ones, and install it. Hit the Install Now button. Now I also want to go over to this other site and install the plugin on this one so I can export it. So if we go to the dashboard, I'm going to go down to the plugins, add a new plugin, upload plugin, same as we did before, drag it over, left click on it and drag it and install it. Now it's installed, I'm going to activate it. So here it's going to give us all the things that we want to export here. I'm just going to leave those all checked just like that. You can go through and uncheck things that you don't want, but I'm going to go ahead and export. And what it's done, it's built this CSV file here. So let's go back to our Divi site. I've uploaded that plugin but I haven't activated it so I'll activate it here I'm going to go over to the product import tab and I'm going to choose a file let's see if we can drag this one up here yep sure can so we've done that update a product if it exists See the import mapping. OK, says imports complete. It's got the thumbnails and we're all successful with our products here. Let's go over to our products.
That's awesome. There we have it. And it's imported all of those products for us. We've got two pages worth. So that has saved me a lot of time. And it's also not only is it imported the products here, it's got the, the categories on sale. Pants, shoes, shoes we already had, shirts, belts, bags. That's great. So it's done our categories for us as well. Let's just double check those. Fantastic. That's got our category. That's got our categories organized as well. OK, let's check that this has worked. Let's go back to our page. In fact, let's do this with the visual builder. Hit the visit site. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this unit and change the products that we've got in it. So let's enable the visual builder. And let's actually clone this one. So we'll hit the little clone, the two oblongs there. And I'm going to clone it one more time. And let's do it one time again. I can't remember. I think I've got several different categories. So there's the top one. Let's do the second one. Edit the module to change what it is. And let's change this from shoes to shirts. Yeah, that's worked fine. Fantastic. Save that, move on down. Let's change this one. From shoes to pants. Pants and belt. Well, there seems to be four lots of pants there when we do that. That's okay. Well, let's just leave it like that. You can mix and match categories. Let's change this one up to what we've got less dress. Uncheck shoes. Now let's just copy this one again. Let's just make a few changes on this one. Let's say 12, product count of 12. And we'll make this one three columns. So it'll be four high and three wide. And let's put bags, belts, on sale item. I don't know if I've got 12 of those in there. And shirts, I suppose. That should, I should have 12 of those. And a quick save. Now, as you can see, it's automatically made this into columns of three. We've got all our sale items. We've got bags. We've got belts. We've got shoes. So that's how easy it is to use that module in there. And that's how easy it is to import and export products from another site if you have one or if you're updating your existing site. So let's save our changes. Quick save. Once we've got the check mark, let's exit the visual builder. And there you have it. We've just added a whole bunch of products in about 15 minutes. And let's just click on one, make sure it's working. Yep, that's fine. What we've got, 
We've actually got related products and upsells. Um, we haven't covered this. I'll cover this on a later video, but that's cool that it's imported that as well. But this is a pretty generic page right here. We'll cover how to make this a little more interesting in later videos too. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to import and export products from another site, get them into your site quickly, and use that little Divi shop module to easily customize your site. Now I'm going to be changing this all later on. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So we'll get this front page looking a lot nicer than this. But that works for a quick, simple fix. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please like and share our video and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in web design, take one of our web design courses below. There's some great courses down there with huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. There's also some great free courses down there. So take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.